As a young Swedish youth growing up, what did Dimebag mean to you as a child? Well, Dimebag, he was like always the leader at all of the rave parties in Sweden. Like whenever we were doing spooker and, and everything, he was always there making sure everybody was coming and spooking all the time. <laughs> The pictures tell the story for those who couldn't find the words. Good evening, everyone. I'm Holly Hollingsworth, and for Colleen Marshall. And I'm Kevin Ray. We thank you for joining us. A camera belonging to Dimebag Daryl's band captured the scene as it played out that December night. Columbus police finally released those images today. Teresa Garcia is joining us from the newsroom. And, Teresa, this video comes with a warning. Yes, Kevin, it does, and viewers need to know this is an extremely tense, emotional scene to watch. Now, the camera was obviously set in a back corner of the stage to record the concert. Instead, it recorded the stunning, brutal act of one gunman controlling the stage for a full five minutes, from the time of his first shot to the time he is shot dead by Columbus police officer James Niggemeyer. In total, the gunman killed four people and injured three others. Damage plan began playing at the El Rosa Villa nightclub just after 10 p.m. the night of December 8th. 
About a minute later, you see a security guard run off stage, and within seconds, the gunman, 25-year-old Nathan Gale, is on stage, pursued by the security guard. The first shot is fired, and then more shots. At least two men are hit. The crowd appears stunned, unsure what's happening. Many stick by the stage watching. Gail is still on stage. Some try to jump on and help. While one man tries to motion people away from the stage area, the chaos is still far from over. But the fear continues as onlookers realize Gale is far from done. Almost five minutes into Gale's shooting rampage, he has a hostage gripped by the neck. By then, Columbus police officer James Nigemeyer had made entry into the back of the building and he fired the shot that ended it all. Gale is killed with one shot to the head. It's not about me or some motherfucking psycho. That happened to destroy the most beautiful fucking person. Julian, how did you feel after Don Big Daryl got shot in the head? Well, I remember watching it back and uh, way back when it was kindergarten, I think. It was very emotional. I'll never forget that day. I sat up the whole night crying. My mom had to tuck me into bed. You played with his balls. That's my story. Boo <laughs> <laughs> boo, what would you do for the murder of Dimebag? I'm bringing him a nice bouquet of flowers and then crumple them up right in front of him. Kick him in the face. Rip off his paws and stuff it up his ass. Like the murder of Dimebag Daryl. <laughs> Okay. Well, I stomped his brains out of the gate. Dick move, man. Why would you do that? Don Big Daryl's dead. No. How does that make you feel? No. <laughs> I would inject a truckload of cyanide right into his nostrils. Dimebag Daryl's dead! <laughs> By saw the murder of Dimebag Daryl, I would hump, and I would thump, and I would grind his bones, and make it into my bread. Poo -poo. But what would you do for the murder of Dimebag Daryl? Oh Mike, uh, I would eat a whole bunch of KFC and take a steamy diarrhea all over his grave. It was the heavy metal goddamn media that destroyed Pantera. This is about Daryl, my brother of 17 years, who are Pantera's music changed people's lives, man. We weren't just some band. He was not just some guitar player. Yeah.